are doing good so in today's video we'll see how we can uh, schedule a report in Microsoft Dynamics Nav this feature with, uh, was released with uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 and um, uh, you can you know uh, have this feature on the future versions also so uh, the first question which is asked that why we need to schedule a report uh, there are multiple reasons uh, for scheduling a report which you might have faced with uh, while running a report on NEB 2013, 13R2. Uh, let me briefly explain you what are those. Uh, one of them is that there are reports which take so much time to execute and user need to wait for the report execution to complete. So until unless the report execution is over, user cannot perform any other activity because a report is being running in some of the navigation report uh, where you can say either the data is huge or the calculation for processing the output report output is huge end up with uh, an error message like uh, uh, no execution uh, not executed and the reason behind that was that there was a limited memory on the client where the report is being executed uh, with NAV 2016, the client uh, are now a 64-bit client. Uh, Microsoft Dynamics Nav support 64-bit client. Till NAV 2015, the client was 32-bit. Uh, supported was 32-bit. What happens when we schedule a report is the report is actually executed at the service tier, which is at the Nav service tier instead of client, which have more memory than a client. So let's see how we can do that in Microsoft Dynamics Nav. Um, just a prerequisite before you plan to schedule a report is you should have a job queue uh, running on your system which have a job queue category filter as blank. Uh, the schedule option what it does at the background it, it schedules the report using job queue and then uh, runs the job queue. So if you don't know how to configure NAS and how to, you know, uh, what are job queues and what are job queue categories, uh, look on to the uh, how to playlist and uh, for the video which explain how to configure NAS. For the demo, I'm just starting uh, the job queue manually. But for the production environment, I would, you know, I would suggest that you set up NAS and then run it automatically from NAS so that it keep on running. So for the demo, I'm starting the job queue. So it's running. Now let's uh, see a report. So let's see. I want. Let's say. Let's assume that my customer top ten list takes so much time, which it actually does not. But let's assume. Uh, you can apply the filters which you want. Uh, on the you know on the request page that it runs for selected customer or it runs for a particular date filter and um, make sure that your report should have a printable output which you are scheduling so that you know it can uh, save it as now from the print option if you see there is a new action added or new option added which is schedule and this is from NEB 2015 uh, onwards so once you click on s uh, schedule a new uh, window will open which will say that I'll run this report and this is the name what type of output you want you can select any of the you know uh, available options like PDF Word or Excel and that's it you don't need to specify anything and once you click OK so the report is scheduled on the uh, Navigation service tier and it's being executed so once the report execution is over you can see the output here on the report inbox window as soon as the report execution is over and user can click on show and it'll open the output based on I don't have a PDF uh, reader installed so I'll, it's opening on the world so you can see the output uh, fr from the report inbox window now let's assume if you don't have a job queue which is running with the what I told you in the prerequisite let's say it's stopped uh, so the system wants you when you try to run a report let's say I do this and I say schedule so system wants you that there are no job queue running for the sh for scheduling reports so make sure that you have that job queue running uh, and uh, for the production environment make sure that the job queue is running from NAS instead of uh, you know you are running it manually like I've, I did it, it here so 
once you schedule it and the report execution whenever it is over you get the output in this particular uh, uh, role center page section which is the report inbox section and all the report which are scheduled will be visible to the user who scheduled it so uh, I hope this helps you uh, whenever you uh, found out a situation like a long running report and which is taking so much time let me know your views as the comments on the video do like share and subscribe the video uh, that's all for today see you next time with a uh, next video thank you